This is a story from the land of Nod. Hi, my name is Annie and I create everything that you see and hear here at Land of Nod. Each week I retell a wonderful children's story that has been specially chosen to reflect a unique place, country, culture or people. These are not your average fairy tales, they are stories from all of us because we all have a story to tell. If you would like to listen to one more special story each week and completely ad free, please sign up at patreon.com forward slash land of nod, where you can also get a special discount of my first kids book, Leave Some Sea for Me. And now, who's ready for a story? The Little White Mitten. Once upon a time, in the beautiful countryside of the wondrous nation of Ukraine, There was a boy called Nicky, who lived with his mum and his dad and his grandmother, Baba. Nicky's hands would grow cold when it snowed, and so he asked his Baba if she would make him some mittens from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. But Nicky, if you drop a white mitten in the snow, you'll never find it again. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens and finally, because Baba loved him so much and because he was really such a dear and good child, Baba agreed and set about making the mittens. After she had finished she said, When you come home from playing in the snow, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your new snow white mittens. And so off Nicky went. He climbed up the hills and down the valleys, playing and rolling in the snow and having a great old time. But it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. And Nicky was having such great fun that he didn't even notice the white mitten left lying behind in the snow. Soon a little mole who was tired from tunnelling along and cold from the winter snow, discovered the little white mitten and burrowed deep inside. It was cosy and warm and just the right size. And so the mole was very happy with his new home and he decided to stay. Not long afterward, a snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his new, white, fluffy winter coat and to preen it here and there. It was then that he saw the mitten lying there in the snow and so he wiggled in, feet first. The mole didn't think there was room in there for both of them but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers of legs he said nothing and he moved over to make some room. Next, A hedgehog came snuffling along. He was growing weary, having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, which is not an easy job when the ground is covered in a thick blanket of snow. He decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they quickly made room and moved over. Now, as soon as the hedgehog had disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. He'd been flying all night long, looking for tasty worms to eat, and was now on his way home to rest. When he decided to move into the mitten also, the mole, the rabbit and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, sharp and sparkly, They quickly made room and moved over. Not long after this, up through the snow appeared a badger. He too had been working hard to find food in the snow and was beginning to get sleepy. A white fluffy mitten would be a perfect place to take a nap. He eyed up the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog and the owl were not best pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, claws that were big and very sharp, they grumbled quietly to themselves, but quickly shuffled over 
to make some room. It soon started snowing. Big, thick flakes of fluffy snow. But the animals were snug together inside the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose into the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of this cosy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. Moving over to make space, they didn't even know they had. Not long after the fox, a great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten, all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? To their astonishment, he fit in, just about, as they all shuffled over to make more room. Now, the mitten was very full indeed, but they were grateful for the extra warmth from the warm, fuzzy bear. The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size, but Baba's good, strong knitting held fast. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one tiny space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose, curling up and settling down for a nap. Suddenly, the bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Meanwhile, Nicky was in quite a pickle. On his return home, he had realised that he had lost one of his new mittens and was searching for it quite frantically. Baba would be very upset indeed if he returned home without one of his brand new mittens. Suddenly, there was a white shape in the distance against the blue sky and he saw the mitten just as it fell back to the ground and landed neatly on a little pile of fresh snow. He ran to pick it up and quickly put it back on his poor cold hand. That's strange, he thought to himself. It feels a little bigger and quite warm inside indeed after all this time in the cold, cold snow. But he was so happy to have found his new mitten again that he rushed home to see his parents and his baba. For now, it was growing dark and he was getting quite hungry. He skipped home through the freshly fallen snow to his warm little house. As he ran to the front door, he saw his Baba's lovely smiling face looking out at him through the front window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. And then, she looked to see if he still had his new mittens. Nicky smiled widely and held up both his hands with his little mittens securely on and went into the little house where they all sat down to a warm dinner together. And out in the forest, the animals went on their way home, happy and refreshed after their cosy afternoon inside the little white mitten. The End